Join me on a journey to embrace your Cavella life. So just coming into your yin practice and child's pose. Extend those arms forward into extended child's pose. And just take a moment to notice how the body's feeling. Where you might be holding tension. Tightness. Or maybe the body feels really good and maybe it's more mentally you need to let go. Any stress, anxiety. Just chatter in the mind. So take this opportunity to just let go. And release that. And let's walk the hands off the mat to the right. And just walk those hands over to the right side. And then we're just going to walk the hands back to center, coming over to the left. And holding for a couple of moments. Maybe just notice how each side feels. And let's walk it back over to the right. Maybe walking over a little further. And then walk over to the left. And back through center. Inhale, let's float up to tabletop. Stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Let's take some cat cows, maybe four cat cows here. And just inhaling, letting the belly drop, tucking the toes. Exhale, round, coming into cat, rounding that upper back. Drawing the navel to the spine, tucking the tailbone. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And come back to that neutral spine. And then coming in for melting heart. It's keeping the hips stacked over the knees. Walk those palms forward. So we're going to hold here for a little bit. So take your time coming into the pose. Let that chest drop towards the ground. Nice and slow. In your mind, your awareness to the body, how it's feeling. So finding that point of resistance, that edge, 
And when you find it, just hold and breathe. And use your breath as a tool to find some space, opening, helping to release that tension, that resistance. Feeling the shoulders opening, the upper back, the chest, the arms. Try to totally relax the lower body. slowly release, lowering the forearms, the elbows, and slide onto the belly, coming forward, and just circle those arms, taking the arms alongside the body, palms up to the sky, and turn your head to the right, resting that left ear, just taking a little neck stretch here. Start to really allow the body to relax, release into the earth. Slowly just come back to center with the head and just turn to the left, grounding the right ear. And let those shoulders drop. Let the arms relax, the legs.
come back to center. And take those palms outside the chest and press back into your tabletop. So get that alignment, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, float that right arm up to the sky, open up, feel it twist. Exhale, float that right palm down. Inhale, left arm's gonna float up. Exhale, down. Inhale, this time we're gonna thread the needle and hold for a little while so that right arm floats under the left, coming all the way down onto the right shoulder. Let that right ear ground. So just depending on how you feel, you can stay right here, feeling a nice stretch in the outside of the right shoulder. And if this is enough, stay right here. If you want to slide the left palm forward, extending that left arm, you can do that. Or if you want to go for a wrap with the left arm, you can float it up and wrap it around the lower back, reaching for the inside of the right thigh. So just do what works for you here. I'm just going to hold for a little bit. And just wherever you are, stay with your breath. Try to keep the jaw relaxed, the face. slide that left palm in we just make our way out so nice and slow press into that left palm inhale float that right arm up open it up exhale float it down and then just switching sides here left arm's gonna float up exhale thread that left arm underneath the right Feel the stretch in the outside of the left shoulder this time and that left ear grounds. So just repeat what you did on the opposite side. If you stayed right here, go ahead and do that. If you slide the arm forward. So just keep your awareness on the shoulders here. Might feel this in the neck as well.
and slowly start to bring that right palm back in for support. Inhale, slowly open up that left arm, open it up. Exhale, come back to your tabletop. And walk those palms forward and let the hips drop, come all the way down onto the belly. Extend the arms up overhead, ground the forehead, and just stretch it out. So if this feels really good for you and you want to just stay here, you can totally do that. If you want to make your way into Sphinx Pose, start to walk the forearms in, walking the elbows underneath the shoulders. Take the legs, mats width. Make your way into your Sphinx Pose. So now shifting your awareness to the lower back. And draw the shoulders away from the ears. Stay nice and light in, in the forearms, the palms. Take that weight off. Think about nice long spine, lengthening through the crown, puffing the chest forward. Relaxing all the muscles in the legs, the glutes. And close the eyes or keep the gaze straight ahead. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, let it go. And feel free to transition into seal if you'd like or totally stay right here in Sphinx if this is challenging enough. If you want to go for a seal, start to peel the elbows, the forearms up off the ground. And just make sure that the shoulders stay nice and relaxed. Relax the lower body. slowly 
If you're in seal, slowly start to make your way back down into Sphinx Pose. Then lowering the chest all the way down. Take those palms outside, the chest, elbows to the sky. Slowly, really slow, make your way back into your maybe wide knee, extended child's pose. Big toes are touching. Just take it all the way back. Maybe notice how you feel compared to your first child's pose. Hopefully a little bit looser, less stiff. Maybe the shoulders, the upper back is more open. Inhale, let's float up to tabletop. We're going to shift our awareness to the hips, the lower body. So just make your way into your downward facing dog, lifting the hips up to the sky. And let the head hang. Maybe flow into a plank. Maybe chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Or you can just stay in your down dog. From here, let's float the right leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Extend, extend, draw that leg out of the hip. And then bend the right knee, stacking the hips. Maybe flex the foot. Feel that quad stretch. Draw the knee in, stepping in for dragon. We'll slide that left leg back. Make sure to stack that right knee over the right ankle. So you can hold here in dragon. If you'd rather go right into lizard, you can do that as well. So just do what feels good for you. Wherever you are, take any weight out of the palms, the arms. Let the head just kind of hang. Keep your awareness and connect to the hips opening. The hip flexor, that right thigh, the right hip.
staying with that deep, steady breath. by little when you're ready start to make your way back to center back to dragon and just taking a counter stretch here let's come into our half split forward fold shift the hips back Fold over that right leg. Maybe start to gently flex the foot. Square those hips. Deep inhale, exhale, fold. And let's walk back up to dragon, back to center. Tuck the left toes, step to down dog, or maybe three-legged dog, stretch it out. Exhale, float that right leg to meet the left. Coming into down dog. And let's switch legs. So left leg's going to float up. Three-legged dog. Really extend. Draw that leg out of the hip. Bend the left knee. Flex the left foot. Open it up. Stack the hips. Feel that left quad stretch. And then stepping, drawing that left knee into the chest right into dragon pose. So get your alignment. Left knee stacks over the left ankle. Frame that left foot. Slide the right leg back. Let the upper body relax. And just repeat what you did on the opposite side. Feel that right hip flexor opening up. Maybe feel the left glute. That left thigh, stretch. Try to take the weight out of the arms, the palms. Just let the hips drop.
Nice. Everybody looks great. Nice breathing. Stay with your breath. The breath is going to help you go deeper, help relax the body. Breathe through that tension, resistance. Maybe find a new edge. Slowly, let's maybe come back to center, holding there. that left foot in if you're in lizard come back to dragon and taking your counter stretch shift the hips back half split holding over that left leg this time Square the hips, flex that foot. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold. And let's come back to dragon pose. Tucking the right toes, float that left leg up, three-legged dog or down dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal those heels. If that feels good, maybe flow through your high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, lift the heels, float the knees down. You just make your way down onto your mat into a child's pose. Stretch it out. Float those arms. Alongside the body, palms facing up. Feel the back opening up. Inhale. Float up to seated. Extend the legs out. I'm going to come into a straddle position. So, so turning to the side of your mat, let's extend the legs out. Let's 
sitting up nice and tall. Feel the sits bones grounding, point and flex the feet. And we'll roll the shoulders back. Inhale, float those arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. From here, we're going to come into dragonflies. So however you want to come into this, you can take the palms center to walk them down the legs. So just ease into this nice and slow. So maybe you just stay seated, grounded in your straddle. start to come into a gentle forward fold. Search for that edge. Coming into the full expression of the pose, flexing the feet, hands, fingers come to the toes. Let the chest drop, nice flat back. Slowly start to walk the hands back in towards center. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, come into a gentle lateral stretch over towards that right leg, that right foot. Keeping the chest open towards the sky. Inhale, back through center. Let's take it over to the left. Inhale. 
inhale, come back to center. Big inhale up. Exhale, float the arms down, let it go. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring the legs towards the top of the mat. And then bending the knees, slowly ease your way down onto your back. Coming all the way down, float the knees into the chest. Feel those shoulders grounding. Relax through the neck. Extend the left leg out. Draw that right knee in towards the chest. And from here, flexing the feet, take the palms underneath that right foot, interlacing the fingers if you can. And then extend the leg up to the sky. So you can lift the shoulders, the upper back off the ground. Bring the forehead towards the knee. And gently draw that right leg in towards the chest. And then release the upper body. Take the um, right peace sign fingers wrap it around that big right toe if you can or take that right hand to the ankle extend the left arm out to the side let that right leg float all the way down to the right side so opening up the hip gaze over to that left palm Try to ground the shoulders here. Try to ground that left hip if you can. Inhale, let's float that right back to center and then just release that grip switch hands left hand comes to the outside of the right foot and then slowly let that right leg cross over to the left side extend that right arm out and keep gazing over to that right palm feeling a stretch in that right glute the outside of that right leg. Turn the head back to center. Inhale, float that right leg back up to the sky. Release the grip. Inhale, float that left leg up. And let's switch legs. So right leg is gonna float down, left knee comes into the chest. Hug it in nice and close. Flex the feet. And take the hands underneath the left 
ball of the foot, interlace the fingers, extend the leg up. Forehead to knee. Gently draw that left leg in. the upper body, left side, peace sign fingers wrap around that big left toe, right arm floats out, let that left leg open up, coming down to the left side, gaze over to the right, try to open the hips, grounding that right hip. Feel the shoulders grounding. Inhale, float that left leg up, release yogi toe grip, take that right hand to the outside of that left foot, and then let it cross over to the right side. Take your twist, gaze over to the left. Stay with your breath. Inhale, slowly float back up. Release that grip. Float that right leg up to meet the left. Take the arms alongside the body. And point the toes. And slowly take the palms underneath the hips for support. Start to let the legs slowly float down. And let them come all the way down. And taking the feet, the legs wide, we're gonna come right into Shavasana. And taking those arms out, palms to the sky, let the feet fall to the sides. And come back to the present moment. Finding stillness in the body and mind here.
feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like gaining all the wonderful benefits it provides. If you'd like to join me in closing out your practice, start to slowly bring some movement into your toes, your fingers, your hands, your feet. Inhale, float the arms up overhead. Bend the knees, gently roll onto your side. Just breathing here. Slowly, when you're ready, make your way back to a comfortable seated position. Roll the shoulders back. Sitting up nice and tall. Closing our practice with three cleansing breaths. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope to practice with you again real soon. And thank yourself for taking this time for your health, your well-being. Time to reset, reconnect, center. May there always be peace in your heart, peace in your words, and peace in your mind. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. you enjoyed your journey today if you would like to see new classes please remember to subscribe like visit our website at cabellalife.com become a member on our patreon account by becoming a member it allows us to create new classes check us out on facebook instagram and twitter at cabella life